I'm Max Mosman. This is my lovely wife, Harper the Fox. <laughs> Welcome to the Dirty Folk Podcast, where we ask questions that do not matter at all and will probably upset you, and then we answer them, and we all have a great time, and uh, that's why you love us, and that's why we love you. If you haven't done it yet, get yourself over to dirtyfolk.com and sign up for the email list, as well as the public episode, which is this one. You will get an email exclusive episode which is the other one that you're not hearing or seeing because it's not here. It's in the email list exclusively at dirtyfolk.com. It's free to sign up and the the bonus episode is also free and it'll get sent right to you each and every week. We'd love to have you over there. Join the hundreds and hundreds of Dirty Folkers who have already signed up in just the first few weeks of this show. Woo! Thank you for your contribution. (laughs) (laughs) Got nothing to add. You covered it. Thank you very much. Also, if you're a fan of the show, uh, we ask you to uh, tell someone else about it. Uh, tell someone cool. Tell someone who you want to bother and upset, who will be like outraged and will tell a million people about it. Tell... Uh, oh, God, I want that that hate fame. <laughs> that <laughs> the people who are so upset, just like, have you heard of this terrible thing? They talk about buttholes all the time. Yeah. I don't know if I want the hate fame, but I'll take it. If it if it teases out the real fans, the people who actually enjoy the show, mm-hmm. love it, laugh, forget about their troubles for a little while, and just think about buttholes. I think uh, we're doing a good thing in the world I, here. I do too. Doing God's good work. So, you know, practice practice telling your fish, practice telling your dog, practice telling your cat, and then go out there and tell real humans. You can do it. You can talk to a real human. Yeah. I know uh, it's hard. I know God, a lot of our listeners, it's that's not your thing. But... <laughs> <laughs> come on for the team here get out there and fucking talk to a person yeah go to a store you never go to and then never go there again and just tell the fucking cashiers yeah that's a good idea there you go all right my question for you i'm ready harper yes you are fisting a girl mm-hmm. when suddenly right now <laughs> right now <laughs> when you are you are fisting a girl When suddenly her pussy clamps down tight and you are completely stuck. Mm -hmm. She's unable to let go. You're unable to get out. What do the next 24 hours look like? I am stuck for a full 24 hours. Well, I didn't say that. Okay. (laughs) What do the next 24 hours look like? Um, Okay. So... I mean, the the first few minutes, at least after the realization, I think, is trying to unstick. So, like, like right. tickle her, make her laugh, try and get her to relax, try and get her to breathe deeply. Like, How long do you think it takes to realize, like... The like, suction is there? That you're really stuck? Because I would assume, I think there'd be a back and forth, right? Where, like... I would assume the girl was fucking with me and the girl would assume I was fucking with her. Yes, for right? sure. Like that there'd be a back and forth and that there'd be some crescendo like that it would get like neither one of us would be amused and be like convinced that the other one was just like sociopathically lying about this situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you know what I mean? Like you've skipped ahead to the like right like trying to get unstuck and yours seems like reasonable but for me knowing myself i feel like like the yelling would start early yeah not for me i feel like i would trust very quickly that this girl was being serious that like she could not let go and you think she would trust you though in your in your mind you have a loving relationship with this woman you're fisting and there's a lot of trust yeah so if you say I don't fist without trust. If you're <laughs> only fist without trust, it's way hotter. <laughs> don't fist with people you love and There's trust. There's gotta be fear, maybe a little disdain. That's right. <laughs> That's how you get a pussy nice and loose and ready for a big old hand. It's fear and mistrust. You're trying to act like you're being sarcastic, but that is how you get a pussy nice and loose and ready to be fist. <laughs> <laughs> you want it to not be true but it is a little bit true 
There has to be a certain amount of trust. We're getting the Harper scowl early in this episode. But if it was nothing but trust, you're not going to let someone who you completely trust fist you. You're not going to you're not going to let someone who you think of as harmless fist you. Harmless, sure. So what's the difference between completely trusted and harmless? They they have to be dangerous. They have to be fucked up. They have to be a little bit crazy for you to because you won't even like talk about this. Fisting is, with this someone. is a tricky line we're walking because I would say to like most anybody that I completely trust you. No, you don't. But yeah, those other pieces are all there. <laughs> like, You're not 100 percent sure that I'm going to come back every time I leave. <laughs> right. You're like pretty sure you're well sure you're like yeah you, you really think so but yeah, you definitely like, entertain the idea i like 98 percent trust you and that two percent is fucking dangerous right like i left barefoot the other night and said i'm just going to get cigarettes as a joke and you almost shed a tear because <laughs> you were a little worried that i was serious and not that i was just going to get cupcakes out of the freezer for you <laughs> which is what i was doing those are tasty cupcakes <laughs> okay so i i think i think once the fist is stuck in there because of the nature of fisting and this relationship to me unquestionably tempers rise the trust breaks down mm -hmm. immediately and that two percent goes up right away you say no but that's fine. You can have your own answer. Mm -hmm. I just don't think it's realistic. I think you're living in a candy cane fisting world where everyone loves everybody and we <laughs> immediately trust someone who has trapped my arm in their pussy. <laughs> I do think that this might be emblematic of the difference between like male-male, male-female, and female-female relationships. Mm. That like... I feel like in a girl girl situation, there's a bit more just like, like, nah, girl, I'm being straight with you. Okay. Are you assuming a relationship? You know this person. Um, I mean, <laughs> I guess this is an assumption I'm bringing to the party. I feel like someone I am fucking vaginally fisting, mm -hmm. I have met at least twice before. <laughs> Why are you why are you trying to pretend like you don't have a past? I'm I'm speaking to the woman I am now. <laughs> the woman I am today. All right. I want you to imagine this is this is twenty one year old Harper. Oh fuck. <laughs> she is locked deep, deep down in a, <laughs> in a grimy cage. She's going to be angry when I talk to her. Oh, 21-year-old Harper. Yeah. I thought when I made you think about 21-year-old Harper, you're like, okay, this woman I'm fisting is locked deep down in a grimy cage. And I was no. like, what did I miss? No, no, no. 21-year-old no. Harper. Yeah. Because to me, cage. this is more fun if I just met her. Mm -hmm. Right? We've done some drugs, drinking a little bit, going mm -hmm. home. I'm fisting her. My arm is suddenly caught. Right? She's blaming me. I'm blaming her. I'm looking around for when, like, this is their, this is like her fucking shtick. When's the guy with the baseball bat coming in and robbing Jesus me? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Vice pussy. That's right. That's what I'm thinking. I've fallen Action into. Hero. Right? I'm in the Netherlands in this scenario. Uh huh. <laughs> this is like how they get you before the hostile situation. Yeah. Something along those lines. Like, I'm being robbed by Euro trash. Uh huh. Okay. After a night of absinthe. Yeah. Okay. I can definitely see this world. I think for me, I think like drunk Harper would fundamentally, a drunk 21 year old Harper would fundamentally be like too shitty and competitive to like do much play with a girl. Like, mm -hmm. I, I think drunk harper is all about the dick mm -hmm. i think i would have to be on like molly or really nice acid okay for for this scenario to play out in which case i feel like the mood is very like erotic loungy sort of cozy and like gets hot mm -hmm. but like from a very sort of 
petting, making out, comfortable place. All right. I agree. But we're still kind of dodging the question. The, the trouble is you have to commit to a direction here, right? Mm -hmm. And to me, the direction of like, I freak out for a second and think I'm going to get robbed, but no one comes in, mm -hmm. right? And now we figure it out from there is one direction. And the other is the guy comes in with the baseball bat. And now we're in some kind of like Euro hostile kind of right situation that that determines my next 24 hours there's a real fork in the road here mm -hmm. and then it's like do you be realistic right because if the guy with the baseball bat comes in mm -hmm. right then like we're gonna really put this pussy vice to the test because i'm gonna try to run <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be naked with my hand buried deep in a fucking Euro hairy pussy, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to drag her like the like a bony Sesame Street character <laughs> across <laughs> the floor. And she's going to have to really clamp down. Maybe she's kicking her feet and crossing her legs. And I'm just trying to like, like just rip my hand out like i'm probably trying to claw in there i'm trying to pull her inside out as mm -hmm. i get away from this guy and i'm also probably trying to lift her up in front of me as a shield right right full on I, puppet style because right, i feel like they're counting on me freezing up my hands in a pussy i'm naked like i don't want to be seen like this i don't want to leave <laughs> you guessed wrong motherfuckers <laughs> i've seen this in my dreams dozens of times i know just what to do that's right i lean over i probably grab her by her hair like if i pulling thing doesn't work and she's still in there i'm grabbing her by her hair right, you have a whole other hand right so now i have two points so I'm, I'm carrying her like a giant accordion now i mean and if you're in mortal peril you you've got her by the lower half couldn't you like grab her by the throat and like like break her spine across your leg i don't think no no you don't get the right angle and and you want her kind of like rigid and flesh that's she'll be easier to carry she's dead weight she's harder to carry mm -hmm. so no she's she is a human accordion hair pussy okay can you imagine that yes i can like if she could squeeze how she'd be a giant yeah human accordion yes. i'm assuming she's not that big no i feel like that's a thing the the women you fist are always tiny yeah they're itty bitty yeah it's it's a paradox but the the porn i've seen tells me that it's true yeah i think secretly if you're small enough you want to be a puppet <laughs> <laughs> i think it's just a natural thing to imagine <laughs> that you are <laughs> and you'll it'll come out in your sexual fantasies and you'll try to be a puppet so your, your dreams coming true bitch <laughs> i pick her up right now I'm not going to be all braggadocious here. I think the baseball guy gets me, mm -hmm. right? But I think I think she's going to have trouble getting the next guy. Mm -hmm. I think I fucked up her pussy real good, mm -hmm. right? And she's kind of beat up. What does the baseball bat guy look like? Um, bald, skinny fat. Uh, Can you describe skinny fat for the listeners who are not familiar with this idea? Everybody knows what skinny fat is. You think so? Yeah. I feel like you had to explain it to me. I did? Yeah. Skinny fat is you don't look like obese. You don't look huge, but you have like no muscle tone. So your arms and stuff like that, you kind of look skinny. Mm -hmm. If he caught you from a certain angle, like behind or something like that, you might look skinny. Mm -hmm. But really, like you got lots of like rolls and you're soft all over the place right so you're completely out of shape you just have like a skinny neck and skinny arms and and skinny calves and okay. things like that so guy with the baseball bat bald skinny fat white guy how's he dressed he's uh hmm, how do those euro trash fucks dress i definitely see like a studded collar Oh, you, you think he's like a, a kinky Euro kind of person? That's what I'm seeing, sort of like ravey Euro trash. Forked tongue. Yeah. Yeah, eyebrow yeah, that piercings. Direction. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I could see it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. A Upsettingly face, long face toenails. Like a clip. <laughs> <laughs> uh 
I know what you mean. Right? <laughs> he smells like mayonnaise french fries. <laughs> Dutch. Yeah, I could, I could have just said Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> Your average Dutchman. Your average Dutchman as I imagine them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So he gets you with the bat, but you have fucked up the pussy in the process. Right. So a good chunk of my hours are now taken up because they are, uh, I'm unconscious. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Um, so. Okay. If I go, if I go for the realistic version of this, right. They steal all my shit, and they like dump me in a like a like a dumpster in an alley someplace. Mm-hmm. So my next one, the rest of my twenty four hours really don't have anything to do with them. It's just a sort of like I'm naked and injured mm-hmm. in Amsterdam, trying to get an Amsterdam cop to believe you. It's like. Ah, yes, the pussy bandit. <laughs> right. So I'm probably because I'm naked and fucked up mm-hmm. in public and hurt. Like, I guess the rest of my 24 hours is just like handcuffed to a hospital bed. Mm-hmm. Like under arrest and in for observation. Mm-hmm. And that's probably how I ride out the rest of my 24 hours with like a sheet on me, a head wound. And a fucking <laughs> forum that smells like the ocean at low tide. <laughs> so this is not a clean woman. That, that would definitely happen, though. When the police officer inevitably didn't believe me, I'd be like, smell my arm! <laughs> <laughs> officer, smell my arm! <laughs> oh, um... <laughs> But An interruption to our story. Having survived this, uh, I just want, real quick. Having survived this, I just want to say, like, as, ba- as bad and traumatic a, a time as it would be, within a year, I'd be jerking off to it. <laughs> within a year. Yeah. Yeah. What were you saying? Uh, our Our sweet offspring is waking up. He's awake already? Yep. Well, it's almost a full episode. Um, I can, I think I can deliver my answer pretty quick. Okay. I feel like after some initial attempts to free myself, we're just like chilling and watching Netflix and I just am like elbow deep in this girl's pussy. For 24 hours? The, the mitigating concern is like, okay, we've got to like eat, like we're, we've got to use the bathroom. Like we'd have to negotiate those things. You don't seek counsel. You don't look for, you don't at least look for a bottle of olive I'm oil. I'm rolling hard on Molly. <laughs> Like, I'm just enjoying the squishy <laughs> sensation and watching and watching Netflix. I think you just got a, like I said before, like a Candyland view of life, <laughs> wife. <laughs> you don't know the realities out there. Yeah. No one gets stuck in a pussy for 24 hours by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You can say goodbye. I'll say goodbye to everybody else. You go get get the boy. All right. Uh, th- thank- <laughs> Thanks for listening, you dirty folker. It's been a delight. All right. That was Harper the Fox, my sweet, naive, innocent wife who thinks that she would just spend 24 hours chilling with her arm up a girl's puss. And I'm Max Moosman. Uh, again, if you love the show, we'd love to have you tell everybody you know. Uh, spread it around. Find our stuff on social media at The Dirty Folk. That's what we are most places. Um, share it. Tell people anything you can do to get the word out there. And if you haven't already, please go sign up for the free email list at dirtyfolk.com. Get yourself on there. Enjoy the bonus episodes. This week's bonus episode is... Uh, a little horrifying and uh was the bonus episode because i don't think we can release it publicly so uh go find it go sign up find it uh and all previous bonus episodes are available in the archive so once you sign up for the email list you have access to the full archive of all the past bonus episodes as well 
Uh, so thank you all so much for listening, and we will see you next time. Dirtyfolk.com, D-I-R-T-Y-F-O-L-K.com.